Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is King Kyo. Giving you the latest news. So today, we found out that ex-champion, ex-boxer, Felix Verdejo, was found guilty for the murder of Keishla Gonzalez. As you well know, a year ago, Keishla Gonzalez um, was pregnant. She was murdered, I should say. By Felix Verdejo and his accomplice. Um, he had went. He had spoken to him on the phone about that he's being pregnant. And mind you, he he is. He's a married man. Um, and I'm gonna give you a little bit of room about how the scenario from what I just saw. So she, so she calls Felix to tell him that she got him pregnant. She tested. She came out positive. So he concocts this this plan for him and his buddies so what Michelle does is that she goes over to one of the building complex which is called Caserio in Puerto Rico which is called the projects the PJs and she gets in the car with him and when she gets in the car with him to her surprise that another guy was behind her and he says don't worry about it you don't have to worry about it. Um, nothing's going to happen. So they start talking. And she produces the the pregnancy test. When she produces the pregnancy test, his buddy takes her and, wrap, and, and grabs her by the neck and hair for the back seat of the car. Felix, Felix Verdejo punches her and knocks her out. So as he knocks her out, they inject heroin in her. And when they inject heroin in her, they tie her up, put a cinder block to her leg, they jump, they drive around for a few moments, and they come to a point in a bridge in Puerto Rico called Teodoro Moscoso. And you could tell these people are not very bright because they know these bridges have cameras. And most of the places in Puerto Rico, from businesses to, to lights, they have cameras too. So they go to this Puente Moscoso, they take her body, they throw over the bridge. As they throw over the bridge, one of his accomplishments, or one, of his, one, of his, one of his buddies, shoots her twice as she's falling down. She falls down, and they leave, and then they return back to the bridge to make sure that she has that, that she has gone down you know she had a she had a cinder block on her leg well what happened was that they saw that one of her arms and her head came out so Felix jumped from the bridge down to the water to make sure that um, everything got tucked in and then he the cameras captured him leaving the scene and saw his buddy leaving the scene also because he was parked somewhere else then they went they got her car and took it to another town and they left it there and then they went to a beach in Isla Verde and threw her phone in, in the beach and they killed her and it astonishes me because this is a man, and I'm not, saying, I'm not just saying him, I'm saying any man, but I'm, we're, we're talking about Felix at this time. Who, his boxing career was basically over after, you know, basically over for a while. But just to think that the length that this man went to, because he was married, just seeing that his wife had something to do with it, but he wasn't put on trial. But his body's um, um, testified against him, which because that was going to happen anyway. It just astonished me that here's a man who was a boxer who cheated on his wife and instead of doing the man thing, you know, talking to her, say, this is what you want to do. Do you want to keep it or do you want to abort it? And if she chose to keep it, she keeps it. She chose to abort it, abort it and be man enough that if she kept it to say, you know what, well, I'll... I'll, I'll of face the consequences once the baby's here, you know, meaning that his wife is going to know, she'll probably want a divorce, etc., etc. 
you know, thus facing the consequences. And you'd be mad about it and you take care of your child. Not to go out there, you ruined three lives because you ruined the life of the unborn. They never got a chance to see the day of light. You killed this young woman. You, you robbed her from her life. You robbed her from her being a mom. And you ruined your life. You will never see the day of light. You will never produce society. You will never do anything. And all because you decided to have sex with a woman. You, you know, you decided to have sex outside your marriage, first of all. You decided to have sex with a woman that wasn't your wife. And then you wasn't responsible enough to use a condom. And you got her pregnant. And because of your stupidity, this young lady had to pay. So instead of being manned up, I mean, that is not the man thing to do. That's the human thing to do. And this is why, for all those you met, for all those men out there who are trifle and want to do stupid things like that, think about the effects that this has on somebody else. Why go out there? Why go outside your marriage to have sex? If your marriage can happen with you, if you're happy with your marriage, just leave a woman. If you're gonna do something like that, use a condom. You know, and women out there, protect yourselves. Use protection. Use birth control. Make sure that that man uses something to avoid this. Because men are trifle. Men, they don't. They'll do things just to get away from child support, or they they'll do things just with a wife doesn't know. You know, why were you so worried? It was just a kid. I mean, bring you more. You had to pay child support. That's that's a choice that you made. Now Felix is gonna spend the rest of his fucking life in prison because he would, he did one horrible act. I mean, he could have done the good thing, the best thing for the child, the best thing for his wife. I mean, for for that girl's mom, for the baby's mama, and for himself. You know, you attend to the consequences. If your wife leaves you because you cheated on her, it is what it is. She's not the only woman in the world. You find yourself another one and you take care of your kid. But no, you can't do that. Men, can, men, men, men don't see beyond what they want to see. And it's, and, it's, and it's a shame. It really is. The lives of three people, especially two people, but Michelle and her baby. Because even though he ruined his life, but he's still alive. He'd be able to wake up every day and eat breakfast, eat lunch, and eat dinner. Though he's confined, he'd still be able to play basketball. He'd still be able to lift up weights. He'd still be doing things because he's in prison. Puerto Rico doesn't have the death penalty. He'll spend, his next year, he'll spend the rest of his life in jail. Or if they, if, they don't, if they don't do something to him in jail. The point here is that he did something that he shouldn't have done. Which is incredibly, incredibly stupid. And my heart and my condolences and my heart goes out to the to Michelle's family, her baby's family, you know, and and, and somewhat to the mother and father, to the Verdu mom and dad or whatever. That's going to not have the suffer to endure the pain of having their kids in jail. But he is he, he is where he, he is where he, he he's where he deserves to be at. He really is. Stupid, you know, you do stupid things, you get stupid prizes. And that's unfortunate that a young lady had to, you know, a young lady lost her life because this man didn't want to man up and take care of his responsibility. Guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And when you subscribe to my channel, hit that notification button and it'll let you know when I upload a video.